Lava continued its steady march toward the Puma geothermal venture plant before stalling late Monday. The facility shut down, but the wells there still present a risk if overrun with molten rock. It's not easy to predict where it's going to go and when it's going to get there. Flammable liquids have already been removed, and the wells have been filled with cold water, but won't be plugged until today. A worst-case scenario could be catastrophic. There's a steam release. There's many chemicals, but primarily hydrogen sulfide, a very deadly gas. Meanwhile, lava continued to burst from the area's active fissures on Monday. Not one, but two flows of lava now pour into the Pacific Ocean. Their three-mile journey over land left behind lava mounds that in some cases tower 20 feet high. Hundreds of evacuees have been forced from their homes for nearly three weeks now. Pete Dalton's house burned down last week. He's frustrated officials made him leave days earlier before he could remove any of his family's belongings. They wouldn't let anybody in. And now that there's probably 130 acres covered in lava, there's down power poles, cracks in all the roads, fissures coming everywhere, now they're letting people in. Along with all this molten rock, this fissure keeps producing toxic gases, including sulfur dioxide. Shifting winds are a worry, so sightseers have been urged to stay away. We always carry protective masks like this one, just in case. Mark Strassman, CBS News, on the Big Island.